At 11, freedom, just hours away for two men convicted of murder decades ago. A key witness changed his story. Now those two will join a third man already out of prison. And I did 28 years of my life because of that dreadful day. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk went back tonight to the spot where the murder happened with one of the men wrongly accused. Chris, Kwame Ajamu has been free for the past 11 years, but he is prepping for the big moment tomorrow when he could finally see his brother and good friend free too. This is where it all went down, right here. May 19th, 1975, near the corner of what is now Cedar Avenue and Stokes Boulevard in Cleveland. This is where the cut-rate convenience store once stood. This is where a salesman named Herman Franks was murdered outside. Right here is the bus stop, the famous bus stop that, uh, according to that testimony uh, so many years ago by Edward Vernon, was where he saw it all go down. Edward Vernon was a 12-year-old boy at the time who told police that he saw Kwame Ajamu, whose name used to be Ronnie Bridgman, and Ricky Jackson kill Mr. Franks. Vernon said Kwame's brother, Wiley Bridgman, drove the getaway car. I was 17 years old. They sentenced me to die. Ricky and Wiley were also sentenced to die. The brothers sat on death row together. He was my older brother. He was my hero. He was everything. And he lay two, three, maybe 40 feet away from me. All of their death sentences were later reduced to life in prison. But after 28 years, Kwame got out for good behavior. Give you a hug, man. I'm glad you made it strong. That's nice. Right. His childhood friends are so happy to finally see him, and soon, Wiley and Ricky too. This has been a 40-year battle, and it's not that we won, it's that we have finally been heard. Kwame says he hasn't seen his brother in 21 years. It's been 30 years since he's seen Ricky. He will be at the Justice Center downtown tomorrow morning when one, if not both, are freed. And no doubt, he says it will be a big old party. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.